eat that wretched... Roland, Holger, why all this shouting? You see it, Roland? I could trade that hat for two of your horses. Silence, both of you! Randvi, I demand that this matter be settled here and now. Have patience, Rowan. There is a time and a place for such disputes. Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! <laughs> Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does the cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holger and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rohan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgifur's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump! Without asking! It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holka. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Holger, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. 
But the horse was not for sale. Rowan, admit it. My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some ways you helped in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color I wish to see from you. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't the care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulva sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. It is not that complicated. You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. father I've ever had. Tovi. Eivor, it's Sven. He... he passed while I was away. Tovi, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. 
That must have been punishing. But you are so strong and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me, or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. When I close my eyes, Sven, I see your designs on the arms of the gods. I am sorry I was not here to see you off, old friend. What do you see? can compare to sagas, to true poetry. Compare? I think it conquers it. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Randri, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby. For a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this. So why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandjabritja. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods.
really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grantobridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Welcome to Grand Bridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. It's the very voice, see. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. 
The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we fight them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you are teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close. And do as I do. Brood and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. I thought you wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hot for a battle. So here we go. Great. to deliver Magni his horse. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around.
Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ranvi, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor, over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right. Let us drink. Beautiful. See? Should not have tried to outdrink me, Randri. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, thank you, Randvi. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ah, oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it's yours. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you, for everything. No, no! Thank you! Safe travels! I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described his tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma, was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean, did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. 
I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Ranvi. If you must. Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Sunuva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Uh, oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is, I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. Randvi, I do wish that I could indulge this feeling further. But that is not possible. Of course. Yes. I was foolish to. Let this be a dream, then. A moment that never happened but in our minds. I would not wish you to see me so weak as that. You need feel no shame. This stays between us. And at worst, we have had a beautiful day. 
as friends and kindred spirits. More than enough for me. I would like to stay here, if it is all the same to you. I would like that. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement.
Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You are most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams, and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Accelerating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am... looking forward to more. And... your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. That Valka, I see. What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flecks of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe, it's a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home.
My love. Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Oh, nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, indeed. Back to work, then. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Oxenifordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. I should go. Newt, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them. Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way! We're almost there! Come on, Eivor! Can't you run any quicker? Knut, you have to tell me what has happened! I can't! You won't understand! Even if I do, just, just trust me! What is this about? Sorry, Eivor. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She is crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. This house needs a key. If I'm lucky, there's one nearby.
A key to the front door. You must be cautious opening it. the children. The table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. Easy. Easy. You have a kind look to you, I think. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Canute. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise. And you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. like that at all. We should name her... Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her... Chewy. Because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? Mouse. That's a... Uh, a strange choice. But it works. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Well, have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm, maybe. Yes, befriend them at any cost. always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home?
I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you. Birna, welcome to the Raven Clan's nest. Good to be here, Sunbeam. The people here seem a mixed bag of nuts and seeds. I feel right at home. You are at home. Settle in and get a feel for the place. We will be heading out soon enough. Of course. A quick drink and a friendly brawl, and I will be ready for the raids ahead. Finir. Welcome to our home. Now you find a second wind here. One to fill your sails and send you across the world and back. That is an image I will fix in my mind, Wolfkist. Happy to be aboard. <clears throat> Let's get out of here.
Thank you, my friend. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home? I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions. ...to see them more clearly. have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, 
It will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds. The prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf. A great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? You three spin our destinies as a thread in fabric. But threads may be unraveled by snags and catches. Not all can be foreseen. But loose threads can be rewoven or restrung. At day's end, the tapestry will be preserved. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins?
deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of certain death. Who crushed the skull of Thrymmer, king of the Jotnar? Who slew Geirad the Gargantuan with a flaming ball of... Yow, 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 yow. And it was all well done. But the past is settled. It is our future we must decide. You don't decide the future, you strangle it. By Mjolnir, I will hunt down these invaders to the ends of Asgard if I must. And leave our halls undefended. Without your hammer, we'll soon be overrun. More danger, more glory! Luris balls. We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting. For our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While well, we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence, all of you. We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Thor, Lord of Thunder. Together, we'll cripple the enemy before they grow too bold. Rouse every warrior who can hold axe or hammer. We're hunting Jotnar heads! The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Ein Herjar! Here is the battle you died to attain! For Havi! And for The rest of you guard the Great Hall! With me, I gift this battle to myself! Get out! 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 Get out!
What's that? You've done us no favors either, Jotun. Wait, no. You're, you're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was only passing through from one land to another. Would your song be the same if the Jotna had won this fight? Yes, of course. Of course. Uh, are you calling me a liar? Uh, uh. Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade. Shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy child sheep herder. <coughs> What is your name, stranger? 
I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Why have you come to Asgard? To bow my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we, in Asgard, might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Navi, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, Hywan. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Quite a coincidence that you came when you did, at the tail end of a brutal attack. That I came when I did was by design. I have been among your enemies for so long, I know how they hunger for your demise. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urthur. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Avi. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence.
thoughts are clouded with shadows of doom. Even this peaceful valley seems to hold hidden dangers. Not even I know all your secrets. The sunstone has been moved. The light's path is shifted. Loki said you'd be here. He told me of the Builder's request, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Javi? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? The Nornir told me I would die at Ragnarok. They described the scene of my passing. All but a few will perish in the final battle. We know this. Yet we will die well. And live again in great and glorious tales. I will need your strength in the coming days. To anchor me. To challenge me. 
to pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will, as long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I recall there being more light in here. These sunstones are meant to guide the light, but the path has been diverted. <laughs> what if an invader was trying to weaken the well's defenses? Are we meant to intervene? The integrity of this sacred place must be preserved. But whether we be a bane or a boon remains to be seen. There are two targets the light must strike, but only one stream. How do two farms share one source of water? By splitting the stream.
done this before, Harvey? Once or twice. The light has found its mark. The stone is lit. I doubt the Normir will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We will have come and gone before they feel our presence. Well is open to us. I will lead. Yeah. 
this little pup. You shouldn't be here. Here. I'll suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Javi. Has your mind fled you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. The Nornir warned me. A wolf will be my doom at Ragnarok. Will you slay every wolf in the Nine Realms to sidestep this fate? <laughs> Ridiculous. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. Then the only way is further down. to the well, did you not? And you found what you were looking for? I have a skin of sacred water, yes. Is the builder preparing his demonstration? How did the well look? Peaceful? Calm? Quiet? What are you driving at, Loki? Driving at? I'm only curious. The well is a wondrous place. I wish I could see it for myself. There was a wolf cup with us, trespassing on sacred ground. But Tyr took care of it. Took care of it? Is he dead? The wolf lives. But Tyr will cage the beast at his hall. I want no free wolves in Asgard. Ah, yes. Good. A wise decision, Harvey. I wanted to kill it, but Tyr stayed my hand. Tyr is pragmatic. And it serves him well. You should heed him more often. Now tell me plainly, where is the Builder? In a meadow, not far from here. Your raven may find the way. about this land, my friend.
Builder! Ah, your timing is... found the perfect spot. Did you bring the water? As promised. Wonderful. As it blends with my paint, its magic will power the runes of protection that I hear inscribe. No rune will protect you from my wrath if I catch you playing games. A perfect mix. Wait, what are you doing? Harnessing Hooker magic to bind my spirit to these enchantments. It amplifies the strength. Hooker magic? You learned this from the Jotnar? They practice a form of Hooker magic, but this is my own technique. And it's just about done. Could you lend a hand and bring me a few jars of paint? As many as you can. with that jar. It's fragile. Easy. Remember, just place it. Don't break it. Do take care. We can replace the paint, but the time to prepare it is lost. That's well enough. Exactly the right spot. What now, Builder? Perhaps you should move out of the way. Atop that rock, the view will be much better. <laughs> there. Will that do? It will indeed. Hold, hold. And there it is. A thing of beauty. The runes you painted conjured this shield. They did. And if all goes well, it will protect your allies and roast your enemies. Show me. With pleasure. Draw some invaders out from the woods and into the shield. Alive, of course. They must be alive. The barrier will not harm me as I cross? You have my word, Harvey. King shits, skulking about like cowards. Am I so fearsome that you hide like mice in a farmer's field? That, like moths to a flame. Come, you father's curse. I am one, and you are many. What have you got to lose? The fools, they run towards their doom. Builder, is your shield supposed to flicker like that? The shield is unstable. 
Your shield is failing, Builder. They are passing through. I don't have any shields like me. They should be dead. Hold them off while I try to restore it. As weak as your word. This is not what you promised. Never mind that now. They're coming from all sides. I'm going to split you. I should have let Loki have his way. this now! I'm painting as fast as I can! <laughs> worked wonders. It worked well enough. Impressive, but unstable. Don't fear, my friend. The problem is no more. I have mixed the proper solution. With enough materials and the right incentive, I pledged to build a tower so tall it would shield all of Asgard. Materials we can find, that is no issue. What incentive do you mean? Oh, just a trifle. Nothing grand. I only want Freya as my wife and queen. Why the Queen of Asgard? Is it your intent to rule at her side? Nothing so bold. I would be happy to simply bask in her beauty. She can govern the realm however she sees fit. Freya is not mine to barter like a bale of wheat. I will ask her what she desires. Do what you must, but my price stands firm. No Freya, no shield. I have no other needs. And you have no other friends, so tread lightly here.
Rosie gives me a pet. You soil your britches. Where did you find that beast? Aid me. Be my eyes. Is that the same wolf as before? How did it grow so fast? Look at the size of this beautiful creature. Impressive, isn't it? Clear eyes, strong haunches. It must come from powerful stock. You fools. It could swallow the moon next month if it continues to grow like this. I know your mind, Javi. But this wolf is not your enemy. The signs of Ragnarok, when it comes, will be clear for all to see. Tyr, you roll bones in a game you do not understand. That may be. But I'll assume the risk. If there's a price to be paid, I'll pay it. It's the Jotnar that trouble us now. Have you spoken with the Builder? The Builder, yes. Is Freya nearby? She's teaching Thor about organizing armies. A battle they're both losing. Come along, then. You must all hear what I have to say. You spoke with the Builder. You saw his work. I did. And the sacred water. Was it put to use? It was. Your tongue is shorter than your temper today, Harvey. Indeed. These markings are your warriors. Now here we have the four corners of the sky, held up by Ostri, Vestri, Northri, Sufri. Enough of this sorcery, woman! Just point me towards the enemy and I will handle them! Havi, you look troubled. The Builder gave me a demonstration of his magic. He conjured a shield that killed invaders on contact. That would do well for us. But your expression says otherwise. I fear the price is too high. What does he want? You. Me? Does he take us for slavers? I will smash his skull till he shits out brains! Now hold on, everyone. Let's wait. Do in. not finish that thought. What was your reply? I told him it was your choice alone. You didn't refuse him outright? I evaded his question to gain us time. Time to devise a better idea. One that does not involve selling off your queen, I trust. How about I beat on his liver till he builds us a wall for free? Might we consider... I will not barter with my body. That would be a first. Hold on. I've got it. The blunt end of my hammer on his family stones. You are overthinking this, all of you. Give this builder an impossible task, a deadline of, say, nine days. When he forfeits, as he no doubt will, Freya remains free, and we may finish his work as intended. He would be mad or stupid to agree. You underestimate men of intellect, Lord of Storms. The Builder is a proud man. He won't back down from a challenge. I do not like this. Nor do I, but we must act. Loki, bring this offer to the Builder. Your will is my deed, Runewriter. You grapple with forces outside your control. You were eager to see the deal done. We're acid. She's Vani. Watch out! Keep your distance! The wolf! Shit! Tyr, stand back! I'll get it! Wolf! Wolf! Out of the way! The wolf is mine! Stand clear! I will catch. The 
jumping my axe beast. with your teeth, beast. Oh, worthy hunt. The final blow was mine. Do not fight the beast. Leave it to me. Are you destined to destroy me? I am the Death Walker! I am the living ghost! I cannot die! You will see which is stronger, your fate or my will. Spare your life. Will you do the same? I've warned you well, and look where it has led. 
Avi, stop! Stay, your ex! Out of my way, Loki! You swore an oath to never spill my blood. Step aside, and I won't have to. This is my blood! What? He is my son! He is my son! Bastard! Dear, you've cared for this wolf. You will be his jailer. Take it to Lingby. Find it there. Make sure it never leaves the island. I can speak with the dwarf Ivaldi. May he find a more permanent solution. Come, boy. You're safe with me. Be kind, Justice Pringle. Loki, there will be a reckoning. Of this, I have no doubt. Darken like an ill omen. My impossible task grows more urgent. Tell this rump cloud he can't just wander about Asgard, poking his pecker into every cabin he pleases. I was only curious, dwarf. I meant no offense. I'm merely a seeker of knowledge. The dwarves give nothing away for free. Apologies for the distraction, Master Blacksmith. I'll leave you to your work. Well, what shall I craft for you today, High One? Bottomless breaches for soiling yourself on the battlefield? What were you and the Builder discussing? Harvey, my gentle jailer. You know we dwarves give nothing away for free. If you want your question answered, 
I'll need something in return. Such as? A hidden fact known only to you, Farseer. That I may share in your secret knowledge of the world. The humans will survive Ragnarok in force, taking shelter in Hutimir's forest, eating morning dew until their race is renewed. The humans are a hearty people indeed. Much stronger than we give them credit for. So, you asked what that sack of sheep guts was after? He wanted to know how magic affected your hooger. Why would he want to know the effect of magic on my spirit? Not just you, Harvey. The lot of you. Aesir and Vanir alike. I told him to shovel his shit somewhere else. Now if that's all you came to know, you can piss off and let me work. I have one more need. Can you forge me an unbreakable chain? Chains are overrated. One weak link and it's worthless. Let me craft the cord that Thor himself could not break. It must be strong enough to bind a powerful beast. I will sluice my sweat into this cord, Harvey. All knowledge I have and skill I own will define it. And what will I get in return? My thanks and my hospitality. What more could you need? Bleh. You cannot barter with a man who's squeezing your balls. You may always return to the land of fire, Ivaldi, and die as your brothers did, roasted on a spit. Hmm. To craft such a cord, I'll need a few impossible ingredients. Name them. I the list there. I have a bear's tendon, a fish's breath, and... A cat's footsteps? And the root of a mountain? How do I find these? How the fuck would I know? The riddles will guide you. I have no patience for riddles, Dwarf. Those riddles are as ancient as the world. With lore passed down from Niji and Nidi to Northri and Sudri, Austri and Vestri, Althjover... I understand. I will return shortly. Valin, Bivor, Babur, Bombur, Nori, Arn and Annar, Ai, Mjolvitnir, Beigen, Gandalver, Vindalver, Thrain, Dek and Thorin, Thror, Vit and Lit, Nar and Nyrath, Regin and Radsvider. Let's see you, old friend. Ah. <gasps> no. And 
Kaiser munu gefa það. Ekki um líta fyrir bóndi. Statues. Who put you up here, little cat? So that's how it is. Lead the way, nimble one. See, Sunan. sound. Do you see? Now, Munak Farasjokis. Now, A. Lauta Elder Day up. Now, we need to read it in A.
He has made the base already? The builder works fast, a bit too fast. Looks like the right place. I swear, dwarves would choose riddling over rutting. There is the seed in the mountain's rocky grip. Some heat may free it from its shell. See what you can make of these, Ivaldi. How is he building that tower so quickly? There's more to this stranger than meets the eye. Thank you. 
Go, Sudan. 